Alright, so today we're going to be replacing a screen for an Acer Aspire 4730Z. Um, so the first thing that you need is you're going to need... So the first thing that you're going to need is a regular screwdriver, Phillips. Um, basically, to get started you just want to take off these little tiny plastic nubs on the outside of the screen. And there's four of them and you just want to take them off and place them to the side. And underneath those plastic nubs are going to be <coughs> screws, four screws. And they're just basically on the outside of the screen here. So just unscrew those and once those screws are out, you're going to want to take off this plastic bracket here. Um, and to do that, all you have to do is either take your fingernails or a flat, uh, just like a flat object, like a credit card or something, and just kind of scoot it on uh, on the underside here and just kind of snap these little brackets out. And what that will allow you to do is just take off the front screen plate here. So you can go ahead and just take that out. Alright, and once you have the front screen plate out, you just want to go ahead and place that to the side. And what you're left with is the screen itself, which is slightly detached, fr disattached from the uh, back screen plate of the laptop itself. So what you want to do is just kind of move the screen apart from the back plate here. And there is eight screws on either side of the screen itself. And what you want to do is just unscrew those eight s screws from the bracket that hold the monitor in place. Alright, so once you get the screws on either side of the brackets off, you're going to want to take the, carefully take the monitor and just kind of, the old screen, just kind of pull it down here. Now, uh, one thing that you want to be careful and, and notice is that there's a, there's two different cables on this monitor. There's a cable coming off right here, which is the data cable. Um, let's see if I can rotate this screen here. Anyway, just to give you an idea, this is the monitor. This, this cable right here you have to take out and you also have to take out this, the uh, power line for, for the convert or for the inverter, excuse me. And th both those things kind of just come out. The inverter is really easy. You just slide it right out there and the data cable is going to have a sticker on it that holds the actual cable in place. And you want to really carefully just take your fingernail and just kind of take that adhesive off, or that sticker off. Be very, very careful when you're doing this. You don't want to damage the data cable. <coughs> it, is, it is very, very sensitive. So just be very careful when removing it. Okay. And once you get the sticker off, you just slide the data cable right out, and as you can see, it just comes right out like that. Okay, and we're going to put our old broken monitor to the side. And we're going to get our new monitor here. Take that out of the packaging. Alright, so as you can see on the new monitor, it has the same exact uh, just power cable that goes into the inverter right there. And on the other side, you can see this is where the data cable goes in. So we're just going to place our monitor flat like this. And I'm going to slip the power cable into the inverter. I'm going to take the data cable and being very, very careful, 
just place it back inside the data port on the underside of the laptop screen. Make sure that it is very secure or else you'll have problems. Um, go ahead and take the adhesive tape that was on the old screen and just kind of place it over there. Now, if the adhesive doesn't stick properly, you may want to use uh, some tape, scotch tape would work, any kind of tape really, just to make sure that that doesn't slip around. Once you have that on there, just go ahead and take the monitor and push it back up into the brackets so that uh, the monitor just aligns with the brackets and you can take the eight screws that you have and screw them back on in on either side of the brackets into the back of the monitor or I'm sorry into the side of the monitor alright so once you have your uh, all the eight screws in place on the sides and the uh, the monitors back in place go ahead and take your front bracket and all you have to do on this is you just pop in the bottom parts and then from there you just go ahead and kind of just snap everything back, back in place. There's a lot of these little snappy things so just kind of push around the screen and just snap them all back in there. Alright and once you snapped all those things back in Go ahead and screw the original four screws on the outside. Alright, once you get the uh, four screws on, just go ahead and place those little tiny plastic nubs. And uh, once you get those plastic nubs in place, go ahead and turn it on. Make sure it works, and if everything went okay, then you should be good to go. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.